Okay, let's move on to the wood chipper. The wood chipper bites the whites of their nails to the nail bed, but they stop biting when the tip is gone. So the condition of the nails are gonna look like they're bitten down to the quick. Um, nails and cuticles are not bleeding. Um, you may experience peeling due to the excessive biting. The wood chipper biting may include your skin as well as biting. So then this is starting to cross over here. Like an actual wood chipper machine, it stops its destruction when the branches have been processed. So you know, when you get to that point at the quick, that's sort of when it seems to stop. The condition of the cuticles and skin, um, and just to, I'm just gonna say cuticles, but cuticle is actually the dead skin that's on the nail plate. Um, and what we think of as a cuticle is the proximal fold and it is live skin and it's very important. So when I say cuticles, I'm going to try and say cuticle line because I want to be technically correct. You deserve that. So um, forgive me if I, that's, that's what I mean if I say cuticles. Um, they may, uh, your, so your cuticle line may experience damage from biting and picking. Uh, your nails are primarily the object of the biting and picking urges. So the signs and symptoms that present in your diagnosis, since you're making your own diagnosis by going through this, um, you may feel a large amount of social shame about the condition of your nails. Uh, they, you tend to keep your nails in your pockets. Um, you may resort to gel or acrylics to try and cover up that damage. And unfortunately, often worse damage results. So it just, it, it sort of becomes, again, a vicious cycle um, where things just get worse. And of course, then we worry at them even more. So here's a photograph of how it looks and what you can do. So we get into those triggers. You may feel uncomfortable when nail tips are present. You may feel compelled to bite and pick when the nail tips start to grow out. So it's like, if you have something there, you have to worry at it. If it's not there, then for some reason, you just don't have that tendency to deal with it. Um, you primarily bite your nails only, but will bite at the cuticle line, <laughs> cuticles, when they are rough or peeling. So what to do? The treatment for the wood chipper, you're gonna find a lot of these tools overlap um, in treatment. So you wanna hydrate your nails and cuticles with oil and lotion stick. Um, and what you want in terms of a lotion stick is uh, a balm type of lotion stick. Um, or, you know, there's like Burt's Bees, but I, one, it has almond oil in it and I'm allergic to almonds, which is how the whole process of starting Bliss Kiss happened. Um, and then for me, it, a lot of these products that are not our lotion stick, um, they have too much beeswax in them and it's very difficult to use them. So, okay, I digress. Let me get back here. Um, the, another part of the treatment is to keep a nail file and your clippers on hand at all times to keep those nails and cuticle lines trimmed to your preferred level. Mm -hmm.